Hey guys, welcome to Smallmouth Crush. So I'm back at it. After yesterday's epic adventure, uh, I decided to come back to the bay. And I'm on a really good pre-spawn pattern that's very similar to a lot of different lakes I fished around the country. And I'm gonna walk you through that today. We're gonna try to repeat the epic day we had yesterday and see what happens coming up. So the pattern right now is a lot of the big females are just basically outside of the spawning areas. Anything that has riprap and pretty much cranking, throwing a football head jig, working that has been very effective. So I'm hoping we can find that same deal today. Um, they're about a week to two weeks away from full spawn here. And the big females are really setting up. And I'm sure we can get into something here. I'm running a series of uh, square bills, DT6s, DT10s, rattle traps. At least that was the deal yesterday. I'm going to run with that this morning here, see if we can come away with a fish or two. Right now I'm just running a that small mega bass square bill. Crawfish red. Just working around key spots where these big females should be pulled up on. Right now it's low tide, so. There's one. Well, he's certainly not huge, but it's a start. We're gonna probably catch a lot of these today. So I know this spot looks a little shallow. It's a little shallow. I'm on the other side of this marina. I'm gonna work in here. I haven't worked any of this before. So let's see if we can catch one here. I'm gonna work a tube along some of this shallow rock as well. Some of the hard to reach spots. I wouldn't be able to get a crankbait in. Might be the key. There he is. The key to the big bass. There he is. Good one. Well, we got one, even though it was low tide. You guys notice how the triple grips pin that fish? I, I swear, if you're throwing a crankbait, you have to have triple grips on it. That's a solid chunk, four pounder, on the DT6. Just have to crank the wood. Lay downs, eight feet of water, good rock, depth. What more do these fish want in here? Five feet. This looks like prime time bass. 
primetime pre-spawn spot, deep water, good chunk rock, and a DT6. What more could you ask for? I don't know. Probably need to be heading, uh, casting up current, but uh, I'm kind of committed to this direction. Yeah, there's fish in here, dude. I know. You're digging the bottom here. See if we can get something going here. Might be too shallow. Ooh, that's a rock, a big rock. That's gonna hit. to be exact, big freaking boulder that I just hit. I was just trying to find something different. Something a little different and there's one. Oh man. What the heck? We found something different, all right. Oh, he's hardly hooked. Come here, Bubba. Come here, Bubba. Oh, yeah. Whew. A little chunk. DT6, baby. All right. So at this point, I have about 17, 18 pounds, and I needed to get, I think I didn't have a limit yet. I think I only had four fish, a couple small fish here and there, maybe a couple three pounders, but I was looking for solid four and a half, five pound plus fish. And um, it was a little slower than yesterday. Of course, it, there was more cloud cover today. I don't know if that had something to do with it or not. Uh, pretty much the same weather conditions, but we're going to keep, uh, keep throwing and see what happens here this afternoon. Decent fish here. Mm. All right, another one. Just randomly cranking the drop here. We're able to get a good one. Not too bad. That's number five, but we need one more big one. You know it'd work good right here? And this will probably get a bite here. It's always a fish that's gonna hit this thing. Got him. Good one too. 
Oh man, it's Big Daddy Kong. Big, Big Daddy Kong here. Oh yeah. Bam! Get you some of that. Whoo, doggy. That's a six plus. Whoo. I called that cast, huh? You know what? I needed that. I needed that five was fish. That epic. And I got my five. The way he hit and, and the way I dog right him. here. And the way life worked. Epic. Actually uh, kept the five fish in a live well today. Uh, maybe I want to give them a new home but I'm calling out the one little guy I think I'm pushing 23 maybe uh, as of now I think I got a four pounder in there that I need to get rid of yet but it wasn't a bad day I think I only caught nine fish total today uh, but the ones I did catch were were solid fish at least And now I have a tournament coming up next weekend on the Potomac River. Which is somewhat similar to the Chesapeake Bay. But I believe those fish are going to be, uh, probably be spawning. There will still be a few fish post-spawn. But it'll be go time. Just got to get rid of that little guy there. I bet we catch one more pig. I'm just thinking out loud here. I got a hunch. All in all, another great day. Hey, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, this episode. I know it's not smallmouth, but we got to do what we got to do before we can get up north to the where the big ones live. But for now... If we got Chase Largemouth on the bay, we'll do that. There he is. Good one. Oh, man. Come on, Randy. Yes. Bam. Oh, I know. I get a little excited. Huh. I can't help it. I start shaking. Uh, man. Listen, guys, it was fun. I hope you enjoyed the footage. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave any comments below, any likes. We'll see you guys on the water.